Hello, I'm Philip Quanza, uh, a cognitive science major at the School of LSA here. I'm a research assistant for the Institute of Firearm and Injury Prevention for Michigan Medicine. And our focus is improving mental health of young people who've experienced gun violence and other form of violence like throughout our state. I was wondering, Governor Whitmer, what is your approach to addressing continuous violence that occurs in Michigan communities and also especially through our young people? I'm grateful that you're in the program that you're in. I think, you know, it's going to be really important that we've got um, a strategy to address the mental health aspects that we're all confronting. We know that um, mental health is an issue pre-COVID, but it's been exacerbated by the pandemic, the isolation, the loneliness, um, the despair that people have felt over the years, and the anxiety about not being able to control or know kind of what's around the bend. And we've made a record investments in rebuilding our mental health system in this state. You know, um, the governor before the governor before the governor before me uh, made some decisions and eviscerated our mental health system, closed all the mental health hospitals, put people out on the street. It had devastating impact, and we've never recovered from it. What we have tried to do is wrap our kids, especially in K-12 settings, with the supports so that they can um, have the assistance to get back on track. Um, we have put money into building the first psychiatric hospital in Michigan in decades. We're trying to incentivize people into going into um, you know, mental health uh, fields from social workers to psychologists to psychiatrists and counselors. I mean, this is a huge need and we need more people who pursue this profession. So there's a lot of work being done around mental health generally. Um, when it comes to gun violence, you know, I think that the steps that the legislature is poised to be taking, I'm hoping they're taking these votes right now or at some point today, um, I think is a step toward addressing gun violence. But, you know, gun violence, it's not just the mass events that you train for, your generation sadly has had to train for over and over again. We saw play out in Oxford and in, on, in East Lansing um, a few weeks ago. It happens every single day in this country, every single day in this state. Um, this is the biggest threat to young people right now in this country is gun violence. In combination with a mental health crisis, we can see how, how serious this moment is. And that's why you know, I say we're not just going to think about it or pray about it. We're going to take action. And we're on the precipice of taking some, some substantive action. It will not fix the problem. We've got a lot more work to do. But it's something that I, I welcome and am grateful for partnership um, as, we, as we address this. And I would invite you to, to jump in with us and where you think there are opportunities or voices that aren't being heard or needs that aren't being met. You know, I'm, I'm interested in pursuing all the facets to gun violence that your generation sadly has trained for for a long time and has been surrounded by. It is the most horrible thing um, to think about the students on this campus, on campuses across our state, who um, felt so, you know, personally what played out on a campus, you know, 70 miles from here, because this is a part of your lives. And it's, it's horrible that that's the case. And I'm going to do everything that I can to try to mitigate that.